There's a strange new word being used in the tech world these days. It's called Web3. But what is Web3, and why is it important? The first generation of the internet was Web1, the read-only web. Web1 gave the average user the ability to connect to the internet and read any information on the network. But in the early 2000s, Web1 evolved into Web2, the read and write web. Companies like Facebook and YouTube gave users the ability not just to consume information, but to also create and share information themselves. So if Web1 allowed you to read anything, and Web2 allowed you to create anything on the network, what does Web3 do? Well, thanks to revolutionary blockchain technology, you can now verifiably own any digital item that you or someone else creates on the network. Money, assets, art, music, videos, almost anything can now be verifiably owned digitally. Web 1, 2, and 3 can be summed up in these three words. Read, create, own. Come learn crypto with us. We airdrop quick, easy to learn tech and crypto videos every week. To learn more, like and subscribe.